Hey, doctor, doctor. Please, um, sorry, we lost the baby. Take it easy, Chris. Okay, um, how's my wife? Well, your wife is stable and she's fine. We just finished the evacuation. Soonest we're moving her to another ward where we'll continue the examination. But well, she's stable. All right, take okay, it easy. Thank you. Mr. Chris, you and your wife are overstressing her body. I recommended a bed rest to her the last time. What happened? Doctor, we followed your recommendation. She had to take leave from her workplace. I think the solution to this very situation now is to give her womb a break for at least a year or two. This is her seventh miscarriage in four years. No woman can bear this kind of thing. She needs a break so that she will leave. Okay, doctor. So Please. Where do we go home? Well, um, we put her under observation for few hours, then she'll be ready for this church and uh, she can go home and have a good bed rest. Thank you, doctor. All right, you take care. Can we try another hospital? And what makes you think that trying a different doctor will change the opinion of four other doctors? Let's just be patient. Like they said, your body's tired. It's my body. And we're putting it through. I can't continue like this. I want a child. I want to be a mother. And trust me, babe. A mom you will be. Okay, just try to hear me out. And trust me on this. After four years? Tell me, how much time do we need to give it? Okay, can we move for an adoption? 
Hey, come on, I didn't say anything bad here. Let's move on adoption I, rather than... I want my child! I want my child! Let's move on adoption and rather than waste our time on emotions. No! And, and avoid stressing your body even No, further. I want to carry my child. Okay. I want my child. Chris, you really need to calm down, okay? There is a medical solution for every problem. Please, calm down. Look at me. I'm not even married yet to talk of having all these issues. Don't go there. We all know that you're destined to die single. Really? Yes. So your case is not relevant at the moment. Chris. I know you and your wife have tried virtually everything, but I will advise you just to get a baby outside to be producing children for you. Yes. You have the money. I know you can do it. At least where science fails, common sense should take over. Wow. So that is the kind of advice that you give. Why am I not surprised? You want him to get a lady outside that will be producing children for him? More better. Are you listening to yourself? Yes. Do you want to destroy his marriage? Destroy which marriage? Marriage that is already destroyed? Marriage that doesn't have any issue to represent? If you can't be on the floor and you'll be afraid to fall, it's not possible. You see, my problem here is you're not even suggesting that he has an... Uh, maybe adopt a child or any other solution. You just want him to go straight to cheating. Adopt, adopt what? He's an African, my dear. Oh. Um, I suggested it to my wife, actually. And? She hasn't said anything. <laughs> OK, well. Uh... Chris, you want to raise a child. You want to raise another man's child. Or you want to wash a car your fellow man will drive. <laughs> Meaning that, do you think the father of that child doesn't know that he's in the orphanage? You think so? Yes, he's aware that he's there. He will allow you to adopt the child, raise the child. The child will take over your property. Bio. Yes, and he will come for his child. Look at you. See, let me tell you, so many women are not blessed to have children, and you can't force it. Chris, if you try to force it, you will run mad. You're not the first, neither are you the last. So you do it. Let me tell you, what makes a home happy is children. So if you try to get it elsewhere, since your wife can't give it to you, I don't think she should have any issue with that. Chris, I'm going to advise you for free. You have a beautiful home, a beautiful marriage. Not everyone has that. Do not allow Bayo to ruin everything for you, please. <coughs> Cheers. Don't forget we are Africans. If you don't go get another man's child and think it's yours, one day, Yawa will gas. You will remember this day. Catherine, I don't think there's anything wrong with the adoption your husband suggested. Besides, that's what people do these days. They don't go around killing themselves based on childlessness. I am not people. I want my own child. I want to carry my child by myself, with my womb. I know. But do you know that this adopted kids comes with good luck? Just calm down. Go for this adoption. Okay? Who knows, with time, you're going to get pregnant yourself. And this time, I promise you, it's not going to be for a month or two. It's going to be for full time. Just calm down. Go for this adoption. 
and it's going to buy you the time you need. Like the doctor said, your body needs rest. <laughs> I don't want to rest. I even asked him or suggested I would go for another IVF. But he said no. That it's not as if I cannot conceive. So what's the essence of wasting money? He called helping me getting the child a waste of money. Well, at least your husband is helping you. He is supportive. Your husband isn't pressurizing you. You're the one putting yourself under pressure here. Catherine. Oh, you know I can't. I want to carry my own child. I know, I know. Look, just calm down. I promise you, your own child is coming. You remember what they say, God's time is the best. You're going to carry your own child, I promise you. You had better answer me first because I'm giving up. I'm beginning to think that God doesn't love me. He doesn't love me. No, don't feel that way. I promise you God is going to answer your prayers. Okay, you're going to have your own child. It's okay, it's okay. Please stop crying. Relax. Oh. Why are you rejecting me? Don't you want me to have a child? What is wrong with you? The doctor said you should rest your body from pregnancy for at least a year or two. But do you think every sex leads to pregnancy? You're not supposed to stop trying. Yeah? We shouldn't keep up. <laughs> baby, relax, relax. If you craving sex is because of the fact that that's how you feel, then that's quite understandable. But if it's because of the fact that you want to get pregnant, come on, you know it's not possible. Count me out, I'm not interested. Are you saying you don't pity my condition? Very soon the village people will start saying I'm the one eating my own children. I stay there and be thinking of what the village people are saying and what they're not saying or what the world is even saying instead of you to prioritize your own life first. Please. Why won't you say that? After all, nobody will call a man barren. It's me, the woman, who will call a barren woman. Oh, and you think I am not at the receiving end of it as well? You need to understand that your health comes first and you have to stop endangering your life. The kids will come at the appropriate time. Relax, 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 relax. At least as your husband, you will hear me out. Relax. If you so desire to have a kid or children, then I am ready to support the move for an adoption. Yes. Any, anything outside that, please, cut me out.
When are we going for the adoption? What adoption? You suggested we adopt. I have thought about it and I agree. If this is going to quench the coldness between us, then I'm ready. Mm -hmm. You are beginning to see reasons with me. So when are we going? Um, I don't know of any orphanage. I don't know any either. Uh, that, 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 that's fine, that's fine, it's okay. Um, I think we need to find out about maybe one or two. So we'll pay them a visit and see the kids they have, yes. Well, be fast about it. I want us to get it over and done with. I don't want to change my mind. You know, we can as well go today. Fine. two years and the girl is about five six come on it's it should be very hard for us to go with now the boy since the boy is two years we can actually grow the boy mold him into what we want based on our character discipline and our style of lifestyle but if you insist on the girl the problem anything to make you happy hmm? that actually made sense but I actually wanted the girl. Oh, I wanted the boy too. Okay, it's fine. Um, we'll go with the boy. Okay, you can go ahead, Matron, with the procedures. You guys made the very right choice. So, I will give you the form. You fill it, take it to the local government, and approval from them will give us a go ahead here. Okay, okay. So, let me get the form. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much, my friend. God bless you. Bless you too. How may I help you, people? I am Ed Sunday. And, and I'm Felicia Otobo. You're from the local government sector. Oh, the inspection team. Oh, yes, yes. Um, yes, yes, you're welcome. Please. Inspectors, actually. Oh, welcome, sir. Welcome, ma'am. Yeah. Yes. So please, um, please have a seat. Yes. Let's offer you yes. something to drink. Okay. Thank you. But please, we don't have that close yet. As we have other places to be. Oh, okay. Um, madam, please, can I see your kitchen? Uh, my, my, okay, my kitchen? All right, uh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Lead the way. Yeah. Sure, they will give us the baby. Hey, come. You don't have to be scared, okay? Our oh, house 
house is in order. Besides, we have a clean record. So, what would be? Would be. And trust me when I say I don't see anything standing in our way. Okay? Come here. Because you all know what we're here for, right? What you mean? you know If it's just out, 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 Yes, so guys, uh, we're toasting to our new baby. Oh, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. To Greg. To Greg. Yeah. To Greg. Yeah. To Greg. To Greg. Baby, you want some? So, I'm actually... Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah! Yes, don't you know, baby, baby. Echo. Crystal, after all my advice to you, you ended up following your wife to another job. Mm. Honey, thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. So I've got someone else's child. Without considering the consequences. What consequences? Oh, good. This child could be a product of rape. Uh, the mother could be a prostitute. Yes. The parents could be armed robbers. You don't even know the kind of blood this child carries. They bring you bad luck. It may destroy your future. Don't forget the adage about the bone and the pig. Bro. This is a decision taken by a man that wants 
his wife and family to be happy. Really? Yes. So, so whatever it is, or live with it. So my opinion doesn't count now. That's the problem I have with you. You don't listen to me. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Christian African man, you're entitled to so many wives. I advise you, you get your children from another woman. <laughs> Bayo, this is a collective decision by a man and his wife. Any other opinion? Doesn't matter. Really? Yes, really. Really? Yes. No problem. Okay. Whenever it's right, mm. don't get me involved. Mm. Yes. Okay. Don't get me involved. Mm. Listen, how can we just go back and then enjoy the party, you know? <laughs> we are here, guys. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. 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 You and your husband really did well with this trauma. Like, you won't outdate yourself. <laughs> Thank you, Lina. I had to make it beautiful and homely for our baby. Oh. I hope you're not planning to go and sleep in that your room and leave my baby boy here. Why would you say so? Hell no. I'm definitely staying here with my baby. <laughs> okay, I see. And what about your husband? Are you going to leave him in the room alone? He's not a child. Okay? Nobody stops him from coming here. He can always join us whenever he decides. Well, that's true, but <laughs> what if when he needs you, like he wants to touch you or needs your attention? Lina. Mm -hmm. Whenever he calls, I will answer. But I'm certainly coming back to my baby. <laughs> oh, your husband is so understanding, loving, and caring. You're so lucky. I know. More like, I'm so lucky to have him in our lives. And you, I'm so lucky to have you as a friend. Thank you so much for all of your advice. <laughs> You're welcome. You are my friend. And I want what's best for you. Okay? I'm happy you're happy and you relax now. Hmm? Mm -hmm. And I'll definitely come and visit my baby boy often. Okay, I'll be ready for Auntie's duty. Of course. <laughs> Just my own way of caring for him now. If I know you want to do that, not while he's eating. At least let me finish feeding him first. Just how do you want chasing me, Ray? I'm not chasing, it just doesn't make sense. He's eating, you have to change his diapers. How does that work? Okay, it's fine. I'll I'll leave him until he's done. I'll come back. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh! Mm -hmm. He's even chasing you. Uh -oh, so sorry. please go. Sorry, I'm out, Daddy. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> sorry. Forgive daddy, sorry. Hmm? Oh boy, sorry. It's more. Wait, my orange. It's here, it's, it's here. here. It's here. Jerry. I'm tired. I've been trying to put him to bed. It's not working. And um, that's because you don't know the right to lullaby to sing to him. Okay, I'll sing him this poem that I learned from my grandmom while growing up. You think I've not done that? What? You've not? Let me carry him. Wait, wait. Why are you, why are you, why are you just being stingy with this boy? Brown. You just want to have him all to yourself. Fine. Can I? What color is this? Brown. Brown. Yeah. Brown. Oh, yes. Okay, you know what? I'm going to leave you. Do your thing. What color Once he goes to bed, I'll sit by his side. Sit by his side and do what? What and sing him a beautiful song. What color You're trying to make him to sleep. You want to sing? Please, your voice is going to ruin his night. What color what? did this? What's the meaning of that? Orange. 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 Yes. Oh, idiot, a female dear. Wait, wait. Wait. That voice is horrible. It's going to give him nightmare. What color did this? Color blue. Blue, blue. Yes. yes. Yes, blue. But oh, God, a song. He's going to have nightmare. Calm yeah. down, relax. Mm -hmm. Chris! Chris! Greg! 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 Chris! Greg! 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 Greg!
This is your fault. Because if you have been careful with that boy, you won't be here in the first place. I didn't know he was going to touch the medicine. Holly went to the kitchen to get warm water so I can clean his mouth and hands. And the medicine was not even close to him. Can you listen to yourself? No, no, no. Can you, can you just hear yourself? Why didn't you take care of the medicine after, after you've given it to him? To the extent of you not even cocking the bottle. Now listen, if anything happens to my boy, you, you, you won't like the other side of me. I promise you. So please don't leave him alone at any time. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Doctor. And also, please, always keep things like medicine away from children. Not just your child alone, from children. Especially when you are not there to observe what they're doing. Such way you will preserve them from being harmed by some substances. Thank please, you, please, always give attention to this child. It's a very active one. Thank you, doctor. Thank you so much. Okay, and... Um, um, on your way out, stop over at the pharmacy and get this medication for him. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. All right. What the Mom? Mmm, thank you very much. Let's go. Yeah! You do not have any right to get my son adopted because this was never the agreement I had with you two years ago. That was exactly the same duration of time it took you to go missing out of the grid. What were we supposed to do? You were not sending any messages, no money, nothing. We were taking care of that boy for that duration of time. Listen. I had to do what I had to do and get him adopted before he outgrows adoption. Listen, Meryl, I had issues. I had to leave the country to go and, and fend for myself and come back for my son as well. And mind you, I have been trying every possible means to get to you. I tried sending mails, reaching out to you through the contacts you gave to me, but they were all fake, all thanks to you, because I know very well what you did. All right? But now, let me remind you something. As you can see, I'm looking all good. 10 over 10 minus nothing. Nothing at all. And I'm here to take my son and take care of him. So please provide my son. <sighs> I'm sorry. Your son has been adopted and there is nothing you can do about it. Ah, who wrote that story? Wow. Okay. Let me have the adoption papers. <laughs> let me see it. Why? Because you owe me that. I need to know the family you have taken my son to. I need to know if he's feeling well, if they are taking good care of him, if they are buying him good clothes and all that. I need to know if they are mistreating my child. You do not have the entitlement to that information. Sorry. <laughs> Please. I beg you. Fine. I'll give you the information you need, but on one condition. Okay. You do not, under any circumstance, go disturbing that 
family. Neither will you put yourself in their lives. Mm -hmm. Of course, you should know that I'm not new in this game. I'm, I'm, I'm an OG in this game. So let me have the details, please. for the stress at the gate. Oh, Security fine. reasons, if you know what I mean. I understand. Please sit. Mm. Um, you said the matron at the orphanage home sent you here. May I know why? More like she gave me your address to come take my son. Excuse you, I don't understand. What are you saying? I don't like pretends. And right now you're pretending and I don't like it. I am Greg's mother, so I have come here to take my son Greg. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> oh funny, yeah? I'm, I'm so sorry, I'm sorry. Get up. Get up from my couch! Sure, I will. It's yours. You walk into my house. Sit on my chair. Look me in the face and tell me, Oh, you are Greg's mother. You are here for him. What have you been smoking? Something pretty nice. Yeah, now I want you to take a look at me. In fact, I want you to go get me a husband, like right now. Yes, ah. I want to see your husband now. He wants a better explanation to the situation. I, I should get you my husband. Yes. I see mm -hmm. you. You are sick in the brain. Yeah. I should get you my husband. For what? Because I want to see him. You want to see him? You don't have no right to see my husband. If you cannot talk to me, then you have no business with my husband. Please, out. Like you said, if I cannot talk to you, meaning that I cannot talk to you, I want to see your husband and I want to talk to him. <laughs> I hope you understand, ma'am. If not for morals. I'm really tempted to throw you out of this place to the gutters where you belong, but no, I won't do that. I really want to see what you are up to. Is it? Yeah. But for now, out of my house. Sure, I will. But before I leave, I have to make something very clear to you, man. I will be here at 9 a.m. between 10 a.m. tomorrow morning, and I hope to see you. Then you can get to understand why. Mm -mm. No, no, no. Shh. I call the shot. Now, out of my house. Get out of my house! Oh, please, don't, don't. And please, take the stance, you can't get away. Oh, you mean that? Oh, don't worry. Just get to yourself. Please take the stance, you, you, you came in with. Oh, 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 oh it's, it's fine, it's fine. You mean she said she wants to take my son? No. <laughs> Imagine the gods. This way, I don't She was so courageous, like. She said she wanted to speak to my husband that she has nothing to discuss with me. She Can you imagine? Not, she does not try that with me. She will not even dare try that, 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 that nonsense with me. If not, I'll fight her with everything that I have, even if it means fighting her with the last drop of my blood. I'll fight her with the law. I'll fight her physically, mentally, spiritually, and otherwise. Baby, calm down, calm down. It has not gotten to that, okay? Just calm down. It has gotten to it. 
and there's nothing to be calm about. If not, before you know it, she will take this insanity, this madness to the next level. She does not. She does not. Yes, oh, color yellow. <laughs> color yellow. Yes, <laughs> color yellow. Cinco. I see, it's so beautiful. Try this other part. She dare not. Dearing just, you. just relax. Okay. So this is the plan. Glad is right. Yeah. What are you doing here? It's been a while. Yes. And long enough for you to accomplish your evil plan. Wait. Babe. What, what are you talking about? <laughs> Babe. You know her? Um. This is Gladys, the model that once featured on our advert. Oh, I'm very yes. small. <laughs> Don't forget. <laughs> what are you saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Are you playing dumb with me? Do I look like a fool to you, Chris? So after getting me pregnant and rejecting the pregnancy, and you, have, you think you can just walk in all of a sudden to claim my son, our own son, for your so-called wife. Uh, what, what is she talking about? I'm confused. <laughs> Chris, you are evil. You are a sexy devil. How dare you, Chris? Just because you think I was far away, I left the country. You had the mind. You visited the orphanage and horribly adopted my son, our son, for your wife. I won't take that. Um, is Greg the child you were pregnant with? <laughs> so you knew I was pregnant, is it? <laughs> is it? <laughs> so what was he doing at the orphanage? I kept him there. I kept him there to make sure that he is safe from you. I kept him there and I made sure I paid every bills to make sure that he has a better life. Just, just because I, I, I went out of the country just for, 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 for some time. Chris, what did you do? You had the mind and visited the orphanage and took my son. You adopted my own son. <laughs> you know what? I'm not caught up for all this drama you guys are putting up right now. I want you to go in there. Right back, you kept my son and go and bring him now. I'm leaving this house with my son. Greg is your son? You lied to me? No, no, no. You no, deceived no, me? No, no, I, I and did. You used me? I did not. Okay, okay, you need to calm down so that I can, I can understand some things. Okay? Come here. Let go! Let go of me, you liar! Let go! Come here. Let go of me! Listen, you don't have any right, none whatsoever, to show your face in this house <laughs> and create a scene. Listen very good. Catherine is my wife, and Greg is my adopted son. Listen, you can lie to yourself all you want, but one thing is for sure, I am here for my son. I've come to take my son, and I will do just that. Are you being serious right now? Yeah. That Greg is my biological son? Yes, Greg is your biological son. And I've come here to take him because he doesn't deserve to stay with you. Oh, coming from someone who abandoned him at the orphanage. And you dare show your face and you think he deserves you. After treating him like he doesn't have a family. Hmm, is it? Yes. Now I know you are accepting the fact that you have an ulterior motive regarding this issue. But one thing is for sure. I've come here to take my son and I'm not leaving this house without him. I'm not sure of your claims. I don't even know if your claims are right. But if at all, you're right. You know you cannot take him because he was legally adopted. That if you know the law, which I'm not sure you do know the law. Oh. <laughs> yes. Now listen. If you know the law, you cannot lay claims to an adopted son, even if you're the biological parent. For an adoption that was done legally, 
that all documents and conditions were met. <laughs> I see. Yes. We'll see to that. Well, now let me tell you something, and it's a promise. I will shock you. I will shock you so bad that you will never think of going anywhere close to my son again. It's a promise. And I tell you that. And I'll wait for your shock. Oh. Feta comes to shock absorber. <laughs> so now this minute, I want you to get out from this house and never you when I mean I, I, when I say never you I don't want to ever set my eyes on you anywhere my house or my gate ever again in your entire existence justice justice sir listen this is the first time last time I will never see this mistake in this compound again oh yeah the very day I will see her here again that's the day you will lose your job now you know what to do Father, can't they go? Don't even try it. Can't they go your house now? Don't touch my back, is it? Fight it! Fuck, you know they like to do that now? Fight! Oh, I can't stand you now, they go now. I will do that my Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, they go, they go Don't touch my back, is it? They go, 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 go. Don't they go, walk up fast, they go. Open it, open it! Open it! Okay, go, 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 go. Okay, I see you again, you go. See what I will Do not ever call me that. Don't you ever make that mistake. Here I was, happy that you, you connected with Greg so well like I did. But little did I know that it was just a game to fool me. Hey, come on. It's not true. Spare me those lies. I wonder, our childless state never bothered you. <laughs> After all, you have a child. Oh, <laughs> you have a son. So what's the need to worry? Hey, come on, you, you, you know that's not true. Grace, can you please, for once, just pay me the lies and accept your crime? Stop lying, stop it. Oh, okay, 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 okay. You used me in taking care of your own child. Mm. Uh, mm. You are wicked. You are evil. And for this, <laughs> I will never forgive you. <laughs> you slept with another woman while being married to me. Hey, okay, okay, here's what happened. <laughs> Actually, it's... It happened the night after a birthday party at the office. And I had so much to drink. One thing led to another. Three months later, she returned with claims of, of, of her carrying my own child. And I doubted it because I know her too well to be But you slept with that loose woman. Didn't you? After sleeping with that loose woman, you, you came home to me with that disgusting body of yours and slept with me. After diving into that gutter body, you came and stained my body with yours. Ah, this is too much. I can't take it. And Greg, how, how do you want me to see you? A proof of your betrayer? A scar for life? Hey, come on. Calm down, baby. Please, don't you ever tell me to calm down. Don't you! But it's okay. You have done what you wanted to do, right? No problem. But if you think that I'm going to love and train the child that belongs to another woman, then you have no idea of who I am. Come on. Come on. Come on. Big, 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 wait. It's 
So if I follow this story correctly, you mean to tell me that your husband cheated on you? Wow. God, these men are not to be trusted. I can't believe Chris could do something like that to you. I am so sorry this had to happen to you. But if I'm being honest, this child has brought nothing but peace and happiness to your life. And he claims not to know the child is his. That's because he's so full of lies. So much lies. I know what he did was wrong. But there's 50% chance he might be saying the truth. My dear, this is marriage. And peace of mind is important. I wouldn't want you to just mess things up. So are you saying that you just pretend like this never happened? That's not what I'm saying. Then what are you saying? Look, I just want you to think things through before you react. Okay? He might be lying and he might be saying the truth. Look, what has happened has happened. I do not expect this kind of advice from you at all. What do you expect from me? What do you want me to tell you? To leave your marriage? But you left yours, didn't you? Are you not happy? My case was different. I was physically and emotionally abused. I needed to save my life. But your case is different. Why do you want to leave your marriage? Because he cheated and lied to me. Is that not enough reason? Is it not? I know it is. But if every woman should leave a marriage based on lies and cheats, then there wouldn't be any marriage standing at all. Just calm down and think this true. I wouldn't want you to destroy what you already have. What you have is beautiful. It is something I admire for myself. Look, just calm down, okay? Relax and think this true. My friend, wisdom is profitable to direct. If you let it, just calm down, okay? It hasn't gotten to... It's okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, you make sure you listen to me. I don't care why you did what you did. And I'll make sure to take this up to any length with the relevant authorities. You have no right, none whatsoever, to do such. And now my marriage is suffering because of your ineptness. In trying to be nice to an ingrate. How dare you? I'll make sure you pay severely for this. I promise you, I won't let this one go. Now get out of my room.
I warned you. But it is obvious you were never going to heed my warning. But you listen. Whatever he decides to do to you, I will solidly support him. Hmm. Oh, really? Was that a plan you had with him? But it's fine. Now let me make something very clear. I can sit back and watch my son leave my side for a sec. And I hope you understand that. Sometimes I ask myself if you think before you say certain things you plan on saying. A boy mm -hmm. you left for two years. Anyway, if you ask me, I'll tell you, it is divine intervention that he is this boy's biological father. Now all you need to do is to use your brain. Calm down, have a conversation with him, and I am sure he will not deny you access to your son. If you ask me, let me remind you once more. This boy does not even remember you as his mother. You've been gone so long, he doesn't even see you as his mom. But in the case of his father, he's already started building a relationship with him and he has fallen in love with him as his father. So why don't you just sit up and use your brain instead of your emotions? That will make me change my mind. Okay. I, I can't continue to live under the same roof with your lies. I fix it. I beg you, please. I am done, okay? Marriage is not a do or die affair. Big, 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 wait. Please, there's a lot you need to understand. I beg you, please. Please. Chris, please. Leave me alone. Please. You know, cheating is a deal breaker for me. I'm going to regret, so please. Please. Chris, please, 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 we're here to discuss something serious. <laughs> what more serious than this? A man has done what he's supposed to do. And you're here busy advising him. What's wrong with you? I'm saying my wife just left you, and you, you... Your wife left. Let her remain there. I told you the solution to this. Is it that you get a maid to come take care of this boy? Or you invite the real mother? Bayo, can you be serious for once? We need a solution to this problem and you're saying nonsense. And that is the solution. What I just gave now is the solution. Get someone to take care of this boy. Or you get the real mother to come take care. I want somebody that has, your wife is somewhere else. I mean, she's gone already. You see, um, I think this bringing you here actually to discuss this with you was a wrong choice for me. I see no point in discussing this with you since your brain is always filled with trash. I will always say in my mind. Excuse me. I'm quite excuse. Yes. I have always advised.
Ready? Sorry, buddy. Sorry. Oh, he's calling me. Okay. Sorry, buddy. Let me take this call. Hello? Hello, Mr. Chris. <laughs> How are you today? Hey, doctor. Um, the DNA test is out. And it is positive. Biological son. I know this makes you feel good. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yes, yes. That is my boy. That is my boy. Yeah, my boy. Catherine, you didn't do the right thing. Now that you have left your marriage, who did you leave it for? Who did you leave your son for? Marriage is for better, for worse. Mm -mm, mm -mm, not this one. If this had happened years before we got married, then I would have accepted it. Not only did he cheat on me, he brought back home a souvenir. How am I supposed to live with that? And where is your soft spot for forgiveness? Where is it? Babe, it would have been easy to forgive him if he didn't deceive me and bring it back home the product of his infidelity. I can't. I can't live with it. Catherine, everyone has their down moment. And I believe everyone deserves a second chance, same as your marriage. Not this one. When I see something that deserves a second chance, I know it. Certainly not this marriage. How am I supposed to live with this car that, of, of my husband cheating on me, staring at me daily like, like it's nothing? Imagine living under the same roof with them, looking at me for the rest of my life. How am I supposed to live with that? Okay, let's look at it from this perspective. If you were the one in this fix, would you have left your marriage on your own terms? I can't believe the same sweet things this man has been saying to me. He has probably said it to the other lady. No, Chris is evil. Chris is evil. My friend, it is believed that between what are said and not meant, and what are meant and not said, love is lost. A man can say anything in the heat of the moment. So who has he been deceiving? Me or her? Greg, 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 Greg! What is it? Are you okay? Talk to me, are you okay? Yes, 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 I'm fine. I heard you call out to Greg. Catherine, what is wrong with you? You don't want the child and you can't seem to get him off your head. Don't worry, it's, it's an old habit that will fade away soon. 
You can lie to me, but you know you can't lie to yourself. I hope you know that. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Easy, 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 easy. Give me a doll. Uh, give me a doll. You're welcome, Elizabeth. Thank you, sir. Um, here's yes, my home, of course. You feel free. You have literally Thank access you. to anything you want, okay? Thank you, sir. But the most important thing here is you really have to take good care of my son, okay? Uh, That's all that matters to me. Absolutely. No problem, yes. I'll do my best, sir. So. Okay, let it, let it come. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me take you to your room. Yeah, come on. Mm -hmm. Let me show you to your room. Yes, Yes, okay. Get 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 She was able. She was able to overpower you. <laughs> Justice. I'll come back to you. Get out. Fast. You come back here. Come back here. Come back here. I'm not done with you. Come back here. Sorry. Sorry. Come back here. You're coming. Come here. Come here. Come here. Next time, when someone knocks, there's a hole there. You peep through the hole before you open the door. Yes, sir. No, not this place. You tricked the orphanage that you have a wife. So you can get my son adopted into your house. But afterwards, what did you do? You chased your wife and brought in a maid into the house to take care of your own son. Chris. All this is your own game plan. All along. To ruin my home. Well, you've succeeded. But one thing is for sure. Greg remains with me. And you will never set your eyes on him again. Is it? Yes. Or oh, you think I don't know this was your stupid scheme all along. Oh. But I promise you one thing. 
I, Chris, will have the last laugh. Now get out. I will leave. Yes, I will. Because this is your house. But one thing is for sure, I will come back. I will come back and take my son because I will not let him stay with you. Did you hear what I said? I will. And perhaps, if by any chance you need him so bad, we can negotiate. I don't negotiate with the devil. Yes. So now listen. Hmm. You'll leave my house. Because I'll call the police on you. And let this be the last time. Oh, please. Shut up. Let this be the last time I'll ever see you anywhere close to my fence. Again, not even your shadow. Get out. Oh, excuse you. Should be happy someone, someone like me walked into this place. Excuse you. Whoa, hey. What is he doing here? Hey, hey, please calm down. At least, okay, sit. Let's talk. Please. Then now call me when this man is out of this place because I cannot be in the same roof with him. Hey, 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 hey. Don't worry, she, she would be back. Just, she just needs to cool off outside, okay? I told you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, uh, it's, it's fine. Um, I appreciate you. So, I think at this point, I'll just take my leave. How is he coping with the baby? Okay, three is right for my end. It's not the child's fault. At least, it's not for anything. Leave me alone! Hey, I'm going to scream. Please, please, please. Scream. please, 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 please. Um, sorry. Hey, babe, babe, please. Hey, please, please, can you just hear me out? Let me explain to you certain things. Can I speak to you, even if it's for a minute? Let me go. Let go of my hand. Catherine. I do not support self-medication at all. I do not support it. Self-medication is dangerous. Look, just get up, go into the room and get dressed. Let's go to the hospital so you can get tested. At least let's know what is wrong with you. Please. Well, I already told you what I feel is malaria symptoms. So just go to the pharmacy and get me medication. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I won't do that. I'm, I'm not going to do that. What you need is a doctor. So just get up, go into the room and get dressed while I get the car key. Okay?
Madam, congratulations. You are three months pregnant. Pregnant? For three months? Yes, she is. How come she didn't know about it? I mean, there was no sign at all. Well, her medical record proves that she's pregnant already. Such situations do occur. A woman can be pregnant and still flowing. This is the first time your pregnancy is going up to three months. And I'm personally very happy for you. Doctor, wait. So, if I heard you correctly, you just said I'm three months pregnant? Yes, you are three months pregnant. You're on your way of becoming a mother. <laughs> Lina! Yes. I'm pregnant. Yes, you are. You're going to become a mother. <laughs> well, please. Be very careful with your condition now. I sure will. And make sure you get enough rest. You know what I mean. Thank you. Don't you think it's time for you to seek rest? For what? What business do I have with him? Catherine, no matter what he is, the father of your child. The both of you have wanted this for a very long time. And we both know that your miscarriages has always been two months or less. Babe, this proves that it is time for you to go home and make peace. I just think it's time for you to let him know of the blessing that is coming your way. I am not going anywhere. He has lost all his rights. Please, please, I do not want to see him. I know. But don't you think this child deserves to hear its father's voice? You're a very sensible woman, and you do not need to stress. What you need right now is your husband's love. But I am not going to force you. Take your time. Think you through. But I know that you still love and care for your husband. Okay? Just take all the time you need to think about it. <sighs> Excuse me. I'm sorry, Lina, but not yet. I need time. I need more time. Uh, uh, Mr. Chris, uh, your son lost a lot of blood, and he needs blood urgently, I mean right now. Um, and we do not have his blood type in our blood bank right now, so... Okay, okay, okay doctor, so uh, what's his blood group? He is, uh, he's B negative, B negative. Uh, can you donate for him now? Um, no, I am A positive, doctor. Do you have a donor? Huh? What about his mother? Look, uh, Mr. Chris, this is very, very serious. I mean, your son needs blood, and he needs blood right now. OK, OK, fine. I'll call his mom. Do that fast. From the missing of. I don't know. I just, I just feel restless. What is the time for your doctor's appointment for your checkup? I think 
think um 2 p.m. It's almost 2 p.m. So it's all. Do you need me to come with you? No. Are you sure? Catherine, when are you going to tell him? He has the right to know. You need to stop punishing yourself and the baby for just one particular mistake. Look, you just need to stop, okay? Like, just stop, please. I'll, I'll see what I can do. But for now, I think I need to visit the hospital. Sorry. Get up. Yeah, I'm not hungry. me now? Why are you following me around everywhere? Seriously? Well, this is a hospital and everything isn't about you. Um, madam, I have been informed, Chris, about your new condition? No, doctor. I, I will do that soon. But please, I want to be the one to tell him. Of course, you are the one to inform him. But you know that you are delaying. There's nothing that will make Chris as happy as knowing this. I will, I will tell him soon. Meanwhile, how are we? Well, um, both you and the baby are doing just fine. All you need now is have good rest. Eat good food. That's it right. And uh, take good care of yourself. Pretty soon, your experience will change. Your system will change. Your physique will change. Everything has to have a turn. Um, I hope you are ready to adapt to the new thing. Of course. I've been yes. waiting for this okay. all my life. I yeah. sure will. Yeah. Thank you so much, Doctor. Uh, Thank you. Um, lest I forget, okay. Chris were here earlier today. Why weren't you here with him? You know, Greg fell and got injured and is presently at ICU. Greg? Greg, are you not aware please, of it? Please, excuse me, please excuse me. Chris. Chris. Chris, what, what happened to Greg? I mean, how is he? Is, is he fine? Is, is, is he hot badly? What's what happened? And what are you doing here? This is a family issue. Please, stay out of it. Who is this one? I'm talking to my husband and you're here interfering. Greg shift. Chris, what happened? And we had an accident and I lost so much <laughs> blood. Mm. Doctor. Mr. Chris. Mm. Yes, Doctor. We have a situation. Okay. okay. But I'm sorry, we cannot use your blood. Why? Why can't you? Why, why can't you give my? He's my son. Well, I'm sorry, but um, I'll I'll see you privately. But we cannot use your blood. Doctor, this positive. is my son. Okay. What are you talking about here? Fine, fine, fine. I'm all positive. Can I donate? Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Please just come with me. Okay. Let's, uh, okay. Right. Please, please, Dad. I don't need you here. Please come. <laughs> Doctor, can you tell me why I cannot donate blood to my son? Okay, uh, uh, madam, you see, uh, uh, we, you know, we had to run series of tests with your blood. Stop, stop, stop. I beg you. 
Okay. okay. I want to know why. You cannot do it. Madam, calm down. Can, 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 can we go to my office now? Can Don't tell me to calm down. This is my son we are talking about. Can we go to my office? I, I will just give you, uh, I'll, I'll tell you everything. Doctor, I beg you for the last time. Tell okay, me. Okay, 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 okay. Well, uh, after a series of tests, uh, Madam, we found out that you are, you are positive. Um, positive what? Please, I mean, just um, tell me. I'll take it. You, you are HIV positive. HIV what? How? Madam, How? Uh, How? My skin just went It's not the end resulted. of the world. You know, we, we can take care of you. Doctor, I beg you. I beg you. Please. Please. We'll, we'll, we'll take care of your son. We'll take care of your son. It's okay. It's okay. But, madam, please, uh, put yourself together. It's not the end of the world. What are you doing here? I just want to say I'm sorry. Please. I just want to say thank you for saving my son's life. I didn't save him because of you. I saved him because of the innocent child. And please, save your cunning words for those who will need it. I don't. I'm not here to fight at all. I'm just here to, to apologize. I do not need your apology. So please stop. Patrick, you're a very nice person. After everything I did to you, after all I said to you, you still saved my son's life. I want to say thank you. I thought my son was going to be a link for me to have a man into my life, to have Chris back in my life again. But everything, everything fell on me. I got pregnant. I had him. And I left him at the orphanage. And I tell you, the day Chris saw Greg was the very first time and the first day ever knew about him, but Chris never knew that Greg was his son, but coincidentally, he adopted his own son. <laughs> it was all my fault, so I want to beg you. I want to beg you, if not for anything, please. Forget his betrayal. Don't say that. It was never his fault. It was all my plan. I promise never to 
go back here. Because I know that my son is going to be safe in your hands. saving Greg's life. Oh. I really appreciate you. I know I've wronged you. And yes, I also know that cheating is a deal breaker for you. I have held victim to it. I'm sorry. Can you, can you save those words for later? As you can see, he's still not okay. We'll talk about it when we get home. Sorry. So sorry. I promise this will never happen again. I know. This went against our agreement. We learn every day I know better now. And believe my word when I say you're my only lady. And I wouldn't do anything to put our marriage into jeopardy. I am sincerely sorry. It's okay. Gladys already told me everything. She said it was a coincidence that you had no idea. Yeah. I'm sorry I didn't believe you. But the truth is, I forgive you. But I can never forget the betrayal. There's something I need to tell you. What is it? How will you feel if I tell you, Greg will be the only one calling you father. What are you trying to say? <laughs> I mean, how would you react if I tell you that I'm not alone? Going, Chris. I mean, this is the first time we're having a three month old crawl in my womb. It's a lie. <laughs> you were the child. Come here. Come here. 
Thank you. Thank you. Um, guys, we're expecting a baby. What? Oh my she God! Knows, actually. Oh, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you